everyone, in this video, we're going to be reviewing food from Walt Disney World. Let's start in the Magic Kingdom. Maddie and I will be reviewing the warm cinnamon roll and Lafuse brew from Gaston's Tavern. Okay, so we have the cinnamon roll. How much was it again? Six dollars and twenty-nine cents. Gaston's Tavern. Gaston's Tavern. So I'm gonna try a little piece. There's no forks and spoons, so they got it all together. Um. The bread kind of tastes like pumpkin bread. And it's very sweet. And the white frosting tastes just like a cake frosting. But you want that one? I thought you were sticking. But yeah, that tastes good. So overall, um, I would give it a six and a half. Six and a half out of ten? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so now we have the drink from Gaston's Tavern. And it costs about six dollars. And it is basically I think apple cider on the bottom. Ice and marshmallow fluff on the top. Yeah. So, and this fluff sweet. right here is very tart, so like... It's very sweet. It's really tart, so like if you get like a lot of it in your mouth, you're gonna taste bitterness. So I would suppose go in, in the middle, kind of, to get all of it. So, and um, you're supposed to mix it together because if you don't, you're just gonna get one whole thing. It's, I'm just getting foam, but mm. okay, finally got some. Um, this is definitely better than the cinnamon roll. I would give it maybe um, a seven and a half out of ten. Now let's head to Sleepy Hollow's refreshment in Liberty Square. Okay, so here right now we have the uh, fruit Nutella waffle sandwich. I have it right here. This meal comes with a drink and some chips. Um, so it looks good. I, I don't like strawberries, so I'm going to take them off. So here we go. Take a bite. It tastes good. The waffle is nice and moist. Um, the bananas are good. And the blueberries are really kind of tart and sweet. So overall, I'll give this a 9 out of 10. Um, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. All right, what's up guys? This is Jack's dad. Uh, today I'm going to review the uh, spicy chicken waffle here at uh, Magic Kingdom. Uh, it's got a waffle. It's got about two or three pieces of chicken in it. It looks like they're covered in a um, like a syrup, and the syrup's got a little kick to it. Uh, you also have some uh, kale and kale. maybe some cabbage. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of more of a garnish. Uh, I've already taken a couple of bites, but uh, I'm gonna take another one and let you guys know. I'll make sure I'm gonna get this part right here. But there's a lot of chicken, so here we go. Ready? All right, okay. So, first of all, the waffle is really soft. It's not a crisp waffle, so it's really good. 
It's got a sweetness to it, which is good because the chicken is spicy. It's got a kick. It's coated really well. Kind of like a sticky chicken is what it tastes like. The breading's not too much. Chicken's really tender, really nice, really good. This lives up to the hype, for sure. Definitely lives up to the hype. I think it was about 11.50. It's a big <laughs> sandwich, so it's a really big lunch, is what it is. Um, honestly, I'm a big chicken and waffle fan, and uh, it's pretty good. So I'd probably give it a, a nine and a half out of 10, um, which is pretty, pretty much as close as you can get to perfection. Now let's head to Casey's Corner on Main Street, USA. Okay, so right now we have the corn dog nuggets and cheese sauce with um, uh, fries and ketchup. This is what it looks like. stop is the Columbia Harbor House to review the lobster roll. Hi guys, so I'm at the Columbia Harbor House and I'm trying the lobster roll. Okay, so the lobster roll, I took a couple bites. The bread is basically just a hot dog bun and it's lobster, celery, and few other vegetables I think maybe a little bit of pickles and it comes with um, a side which they got fries here and they come with a drink and the fries are good, are good. they're crispy and they're crisp uh, and they're better with they barbecue sauce The fries, all right, 10 out of 10. And um, I'm gonna take a bite of the lobster roll now. And the lobster meat, it's tender and it comes with, um, I think, a base of mayonnaise. And that's it really. So I would rate the lobster roll a seven and a half out of ten. It's like, oh my god, I need to go get this right now, but like if you pass by it then you should stop at it and get it. Now let's head to the American Pavilion in Epcot. It's time to review the barbecue at Regal Eagle Smokehouse. Okay, so we're here at Epcot, the American Pavilion, and here I have baked beans, um, garlic toast, and um, pork ribs, and the barbecue sauce, one of the bad things about the pork ribs, the barbecue sauce does not come on it, or with it. You have to go get it at the station over there. There's all the sauces. And including vinegar. So this is what my sister got. It was basically the basic cheeseburger. A kid's fries. menu. Um, $7.99 for the kid's meal cheeseburger. How much was this? $16. $16 for that one. So I already tried the baked beans. Um, I'd rate it a five out of 10. Mama, how about this? Do you think this is good? If, if you want baked beans, just go to Target and get Bush's baked beans, it's better. And here we have garlic toast. I haven't tried it yet, obviously no bites. So. Mm. 
they bake the sourdough in the oven and they put garlic on it so it's good so I'll rate it 7 out of 10 in the ribs Yes. 